much stronger threat this time and cannot afford to exhaust our strength. Then you agree to our proposal? Yes. We have no other choice. Our military forces also sustained terrible losses in that recent attack. Out of the three brigades of Aeriglyph, only the Storm Brigade still has a captain. Woltar is the only one left. Hmm? What happened to Albel? I wonder if he was killed. But tell me, who is this enemy we face? I heard your agent's explanation the other day, but it made no sense to me. I felt the same way. Perhaps they can explain it to us again. Hmm. I have to admit, I find it hard to believe. What about you, Romeria? I must believe, Arze, lest both our countries be destroyed. Turning these outsiders over to this new enemy is another option, is it not? That might have been possible before, but now I am afraid it is no longer an option. Why is that? The enemy attacked the Shrine of Kadan. Kadan was attacked? Kadan has nothing to do with these outsiders. Once it came under attack, we realized that our lands had become the target of the enemy's aggression. Hence, there is but one thing left to try. Engage them on our own terms. Correct. We must unite the power of our nation's runological weapon and Aeriglyph's air dragons. This is no time to fret over national honor. That is correct. All right. Let us join forces. However, at present, having our air dragons carry your runological weapon will not be an easy task. Please explain. First, it is a matter of size. According to information obtained by our spies, your weapon would be too big to be carried by an air dragon. How about carrying it with more than one dragon? That, too, would be difficult. Ugh, then what's the point of this alliance? Do not be so hasty, young man. The king said, at present. Huh? I said it's a matter of size. To carry a big weapon, we need a bigger air dragon. Where could we find such a beast? In the Urza Lava Caves, near a place you have already been. The Becquerel Mines. An air dragon of immense size dwells within the caverns there. So, all we have to do is capture the critter? That is correct. However, mistaking him for a mere air dragon would be suicide. The Marquis, as the beast is known, is a creature of immense size and strength. Even Vox was unable to subdue him. Do not fear, Arze. I trust they will be capable. I do not doubt you feel that way. However, our trust is not so easily given. Then what do you propose we do? Did you not consent to joining forces? I only request that a representative of Eriglyph be included in their party. Then I shall withdraw my objections. A just proposal. But who would you have go? Woltar? No, Woltar is much too old. I do not have the heart to send him into the Urza Lava Caves. I was thinking of someone else. And who might that be? I was thinking about sending Albel. Albel? Do you object? I, for one, am quite fond of him. What do you think, Romeria? I consent. This Albel shall travel with the party. You do not mind, do you? I personally don't mind, but... It doesn't matter what we think. The problem's gonna be what Albel thinks. Then it is settled. Albel will be waiting for you in Eriglyph. You can meet him there. We understand. We will be expecting you. I must ask that you take us to Paterni. Claire can escort us from there. After that, you may head to Aeriglyph. Your Majesty. <laughs>
use a little sparring practice. Shotgun. Claire, I'm leaving Her Majesty in your hands. Yes. Leave it to me. I do not believe it is a trap. But nevertheless, please be careful. Don't worry, Your Majesty. We'll be fine. It's just like Her Majesty said. Everything begins with trust. So it does. May Apris guide you in your path. I look forward to bringing you good news. And we look forward to your safe return. One bit! 